We have reached the final day of UIL swimming and diving competition. It's the Class 5A state championships at Bill Walker Pool, and we open with a great performance in the B final of the 200-yard freestyle. Alamo Heights senior Sophia Carroll took it out hard in 55-8 on the first 100, and she hangs on to win the heat in 1 minute, 55.17 seconds. That's good enough to take ninth overall. Very next event, 200-yard individual medley. More from the Mules. This time it's junior Elizabeth Walsh. She was the third seed coming into the evening session, and she's right in the thick of a great race down the stretch. Not quite enough to make the podium, but she still finishes fourth overall in two minutes, 5.22 seconds. It feels amazing. I truly have worked so hard for this moment, and I have amazing coaches who've really helped me achieve this. We have had setback after setback, but and with the snow recently, we were out of the water, but... It feels amazing to really achieve um, something after persevering through this season for a long time. Walsh also took six in the 100-yard breaststroke and was a major factor in both the Alamo Heights relays, the 200-yard medley relay and the 400-yard freestyle relay. The Mules took ninth in both of those events. And a quick note in the consolation heat of the 200 IM, Bernie Champions Tess Siemba took 13th in 2 minutes, 11.55 seconds. Her teammate Peyton Bremer was on the blocks in the A final of the 50-yard freestyle. Swimming out of lane 7, Bremer drops a 10th off of her seed time and holds on to her seed placement, taking 6th overall in 24.3 seconds. Let's take a quick break and head on over to the diving well for the final diving competition of the week at Josh Davis Natatorium. Alamo Heights senior Sophia Urson ends her high school career at state, scoring 372.35 points. That's good enough to finish seventh overall. Burning champions Emma Haynes, a freshman, is ninth with 303.1 points. After a quick break, it was time for the 100-yard butterfly, and the Mules got another solid performance from junior Lila Foote. She touches seventh in 57.75 seconds. Fifth and seventh place were only separated by three-tenths of a second. Bremer also competed in the consolation heat of the 100 fly. She took a 13th in 59 seconds flat. The Charger girls had a chance to get on the podium later in the meet with the 200-yard freestyle relay, one of two relays where they were the second seed heading into the evening session, and they light the pool on fire. Paige Clark leads off in 24.8. Reagan Garcia and Tess Ziemba throw down 24 ones, and Bremer anchors in 23.7 to win the event in one minute, 36.92 seconds. Watch the reaction here. They could barely believe it. The Chargers are state champions. I didn't even see the time flash first. I saw Peyton finish. And I look at Paige, and we were like, dude, did we just win? And she was like, I think so. And we look down at Peyton and she's like smiling, Tess is smiling, we're all smiling and it's just a great feeling to work this hard and have it all pay off. We all wanted this really bad and we didn't even know if we were going to make it to stay and the fact that we came this far is just amazing. We put our minds to it and you can do anything once you do it. Champion would add a third place finish in the 400 yard freestyle relay at the end of the meet. They end up taking sixth overall in the team standings, the best finish at state in program history. The next individual event was the 100-yard backstroke. Alamo Heights' Lila Foote ended her junior season with a great swim. She finished in 57.84 seconds and ends up taking fifth overall. Congratulations to all of the swimmers and divers who competed on Tuesday night and to all of our area athletes who swam all season long. For full recaps of every major meet from the greater San Antonio area, head on over to ksat.com.